Hello, all of you wonderful people, and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporters. I'm back again today for a match preview for Liverpool versus Brighton. And it's a bit of a difficult one to predict, but I will do certainly do my best. And yeah, it's been a while since I've made a video, so I do apologise for that. But with the international break, it's just been a bit crazy. Um, I do want to point out, I did make a poll on YouTube if you have any ideas as to what sort of content I can be doing um, during the international breaks, because I know it's a long time to wait, but I've got a few ideas there, um, like doing live streams for the international matches, um, making like some Liverpool news during the break, like basically injuries, like for instance, what happened to Andrew Robertson. Um, there's, there's a few there. If you haven't already, please do go and leave a vote on that so I know what sort of content you guys are, will be interested in. And if you have any other ideas, leave it in the comments on that post and I will go through it all and I'll make the content accordingly. So before I get into the video as well, guys, also hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We did get to our subscriber goal of 100 subscribers before the end of the season. So I did boost that to 150. You guys are all wonderful. Thank you so much. And yeah, let's see if we can get to 150 before the end of the season. So. Now, let's get into the video and the match preview. If you're new here, what I do is I give you a match preview about how I think the game is going to go, score prediction, and a lineup prediction. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, I think it's going to be a bit of a, a strange one. Liverpool have pretty poor form against Brighton. I've just been looking through the form, basically. And it's not, it's not poor form, but it's certainly not great. So over the last five years, Liverpool have won eight, drawn four, and lost three, which and that we've won more. But the thing is, you have to go back to the 12th of March 2022 to have seen Liverpool beat Brighton. That was a way. That was at the Amex Stadium. Um, but yeah, 2022, that's over two years since Liverpool have actually got a result against Brighton. There's been a few draws. They thumped us 3-0 last year as well. Um, I think there was a 3-3 draw last season. They knocked us out of the FA Cup as well. A 2-1 win. So it's just been... It's a bit of a bogey team, Brighton is, for us. So hope I'm hoping that'll change. Um, well, we need to win every single game, obviously, for the end of the season um, to go on and win the Premier League. Um, and I I think we can do it. We We need to do it. We need to not perform like we did against United and actually just go and put a game to bed instead of twiddling our thumbs and getting beaten in the last minute so yeah it can be done Brighton like I said it's a bit of our bogey team but we can do it I'm confident we'll come out with a win um, especially it's at Anfield as well um, so we'll have the home advantage um, like I said we just need to just put our heads down and do the work and not make silly mistakes and put teams to bed which is how we keep getting caught out. Um, and yeah, like I said, the United game, I don't even want to get into it because that was just shocking. We should have had that one. We should have had that one three or four times and we just didn't. And we ended up getting knocked out of the FA Cup for it. But we go on. And like I say, I think there's, what, eight, nine games left of the Premier League season. We need to win all of them. I'm hoping that Arsenal City, whatever it is, I just don't see Arsenal... It's not that I'm hoping. I just don't see Arsenal beating City. So whether that's a win for City or a draw, that goes in our favour. And Liverpool then, if we win all of our games, we win the league. So that's what I'm aiming for. Um, so with all that in mind, and well, there's the injury news as well. Andrew Robertson got injured for Scotland um, the last game he played. Not sure how long he's going to be out. Not much has been said about it. Um, Curtis Jones is close to return. He's supposed to be available for this game. Um, whether or not, we'll, we'll see come the day. Um, the same with Trent, but I also don't think Trent will be ready. But if it's not this week, it'll be next week. It's within the first week of the, the football returning. So maybe we'll see some returning faces like Trent or Jones um, for this game. Or maybe they'll just be on the bench. However, I just don't see that happening. Like I said, they might be on the bench if they're ready, but I just don't think. I think it'll be more likely next week. Um, other than that, there's no fresh injury concerns. Allison is still out. There's been no update on him at all. Um, Darwin Nunes did pull out of the 
Uruguay. He pulled out of a game for Uruguay. That is ju- that was just precautionary. Apparently, he's fine. So there's nothing to worry about there. And yes, that's that's the latest injury news. And let's get into the score prediction. So my score prediction again. I I don't know why I'm gonna. I'm going to put Liverpool to score three, but I'm going to put Brighton to score two. The fact that they're our bogey team, I just, I just think that they they'll score goals. I don't know. I just, I think we've got enough to win it, but I just, I'm just not confident in playing Brighton. I never am confident playing Brighton, but that's what I think the score is going to be. Let me know if you think any different. Get in the chat. Get in the comments on the video. Um, yeah, and let me know what you think. And now let's get into my lineup. And the lineup pretty much picks itself. Um, where are we here? We get rid of this. This is who I have gone with. Um, Kelleher in goal, of course. Allison's not available. And also Kelleher is just brilliant. So why not? Um, then with the injury to Robertson, I've gone with Joe Gomez at left back. Joe Gomez has been brilliant wherever he's been played. Um, this season it's just great to be able to have him so versatile so him at left back and then we're not worried um, Connor Bradley at right back and then also Kanate and Van Dyke as centre backs also I wasn't sure I couldn't get any update on Kanate's fitness so that's I've put him in just hoping that he's going to be there but if not I can see Maybe Joe Gomez being at centre back and Simicast being left back. So that's also a possibility. But I went with this because that's what I would be more comfortable with. Um, then I've gone with Endo in the Endo role because he's just brilliant there. Um, Saboslai and McAllister, of course, finish up the midfield. Like I said, I think it's just too early for Curtis Jones. Um, and also another question, um, get in the comments and answer. When Trent comes back, do we take Bradley out or do we just put Trent into midfield? Because I just don't think you can drop Bradley now. Um, I think he's just too good at right back. And I think he's probably a better defender than Trent. Where if you put Trent into midfield, then you can use Trent's attacking prowess. And so then up the top, I've gone with Diaz, Nunes and Salah. Like I said, it pretty much picks itself. Jota is hopefully back for the United game, which I'm not sure. It's in April. I think it's the middle of April sometime. Um, so hopefully he'll be back then. Then Gakpo, well, I'm really slowly starting to run out of patience for Gakpo. He's been absolutely dreadful. And I don't know, he needs like, a, I don't know, a very advanced training session. And, you know, for himself, it's just, it's just so annoying to watch him. He's so frustrating and... He pops up with a goal every now and then, but everything else is just terrible. So, yeah, he needs he needs some serious work doing. And, well, hopefully that will happen. And so that is my predicted lineup, guys. Um, so in full, that is Kelleher, then Gomez, Van Dyke, Kanate, Bradley, Endo, McAllister, Soboslai, then Diaz, Nunes, and Salah. So let me know how I did. Let me know what you'd change. Get in the comments. I'm always open to for a chat. Um, I quite often do chat with people if they have any thoughts about lineups or score predictions or anything. So, yeah, don't be shy. And, um, yes, thanks again, everybody, for watching. And thanks again for being so patient. Like I said, this last two weeks has been... It's been painful for me because I like making videos and I like doing the streams and to not be able to have done it because of international breaks, I just really want to be making videos. So please do go and vote on that poll. Or if you have any other ideas, write it in the comments and I'll consider making, you know, them videos. Um, but yes, thanks again for tuning in. Also, thanks for hitting that like button and also for subscribing. And if you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button. Every single one of you makes a difference to me. And watching it go up over the last few weeks has just been amazing. It's made me so happy. So. Thank you again. I will be live for this game, like I always am, about 15, 20 minutes before kickoff. It's at 2 o'clock on Sunday. And then there's the big one afterwards. There's the Arsenal City game after that. So 
I don't, well, it'd be a big day of football for me watching anyway. So thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. And until the live stream, up the fucking reds.